Hello everyone, in this video we are going to be looking at how to build a 3 to 8 decoder and explaining the logic behind it. In my last video we looked at a 2 to 4 decoder and we explained some of the basics of how decoders work. Um, this is Virtual Circuit Board. Uh, it is the simulator I'm using. If you are using Logisim, which is more popular, um, it's all the same concepts, you just have to um, apply it to how your simulator works. So let's hop over here. In the last video, I said I like to start with the AND gates. And so with a 3 to 8 decoder, we're going to need 8 AND gates, and each of those AND gates is going to take 3 inputs. So you can see this here where these reads, so the AND reads from each of these inputs. So it reads from that, 2, and 3, and then it writes out here. So this is its output. Um, I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to add in our three um, input lines for our three digit binary number and each of those lines is also going to have an inverted line and I'm going to explain why we do this as we wire up the AND gates. Alrighty, so I wired up the output LEDs as well. So here we can see our three digit binary number that is going to be our input and it also every digit also has an inverted line so it's the opposite of what this digit is so as you'd see all of these digits are zero so the inverted lines are one and if the line is the main line is one the inverted line is zero simple enough so now we're going to get to wiring this first AND gate so this first AND gate corresponds to our first digit or our first signal line over here. So we want 0, 0, 0 to represent that signal line. So what we're going to need is we're going to need to take the inverted lines. Now the reason we have to take the inverted lines is 0, 0, 0 will not give us um, a high output out of an AND gate. So we take the inverted lines and we will get that high output that we want from our AND gate. So I'm going to get this wired up here. So now, whenever we have 0, 0, that should give us 1 out here. So if we simulate this, it does work. So now we're going to go to our next AND gate. In our next AND gate, we want 0, 0, 1 to output high to this signal line. So how we're going to do that is on the red line, we're going to have a 1 come through. So that can be wired to the main line. Now on the blue and green lines, or our second for the blue and third for the green digits, we are going to want those on the not lines. That again is because in order to get this AND gate to output in high, we have to have uh, we have to have three high inputs into it. Now we're going to go down to the next line, and now our first one, our first digit, is going to come in as zero. So we're going to need a high input here. And now our second digit. It's going to come from a 1, because it'll be 0, 1, 0. So the 1 is tied to the main line. Then our last digit is tied to the not line, because from that 0, we need to have a high value to activate this AND gate. And on to the next line. The next line, we're going to have 0, 1, 1. So with 0, 1, 1, we are going to wire the first digit to the main line. The second digit, let me find my color here, to the main line. And then the third digit to the not line. Now on our fourth digit, we're going to have our third digit to its main line, because that is going to be 1, 0, 0. And I'm sorry, this is our fifth AND gate. And then the other 
binds, or both can be tied to their knots. As you'd see, any time we want zeros involved in our selecting, so if we have you know, 1, 0, 1, and we will want to select an AND gate, the 1s, any place that has a 1 is going to be tied to the main line, and any place that has a 0 is going to be tied to its knot line to get that AND gate to work. And so you're basically programming in the logic for how these lines are selected. Right, and then for our next line, which is going to be our sixth signal line, it's going to take 1, 0, 1, which is 5 in binary, but it's the sixth combination, including 0, 0, 0. We're going to wire our first digit the main line because it's a 1, our second digit to its not line because it's a 0, and our third digit to its main line. Now for our next gate, which is going to be 1, 1, 0, the 0 from the first digit is going to go to its not line. The second digit is going to go to its main line, and the third digit is going to go to its main line. And for the last one, all of these are going to be connected directly to its main line, so it is the simplest, and that's because it's 1, 1, 1. So when the highest number that you can write in three-digit binary is going to select the last digit, which makes sense. So I'm going to finish wiring this and then we'll see if it works. Now we can see that all the gates are lined up. And so we're going to test it out here. So we're going to press simulate here. And so off 0, 0, we get our first output. We are tested that one, but it's good to see it still works. So if we put in 1 in binary, we'll get our second output. 2 in binary, we'll get our third output. 3 in binary, we get our 4th output, 4 in binary, we get our 5th output, 5 in binary, we get our 6th output, 7 in binary, or 6 in binary, we get our 7th output, and 7 in binary, we get our 8th input. So that right there is how you build and how it works of a 3 to 8 decoder. I hope you enjoy. And in next videos, I plan to most likely cover uh, multiplexers, and I'll also come up with other ideas since I am new to this. So I'm just kind of trying to help other people learn, and also making these videos helps me reinforce my learning, and I am also finding it's really helpful in working on my presentation skills and my clear speaking patterns. So again, I hope you enjoy and everyone has a great day. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments.